What's up guys and gals? Welcome all back to the Nerd Castle. It's time for some more Grim Knights. I like this game. It's got like a it's got a good feel to it. I like it. It's enjoyable. Uh, we've got another iron mine down here, which is pretty, pretty sick. Like, I want to use the iron mine, but I'm a tiny bit worried about, like, our long-term food supply. So I think what I'll do first is I'm going to focus on getting us populated up with farmers. People that can pull some kern from the soil, and they can make it into kern bird. And once they make it into kern bird, we can eat it with butter. Because everybody loves kern bird. Kern bird's delicious, man. What's not to love about kern bird? Uh, I'm gonna need you guys to like we got to like mine the hell out of this place down here Does that actually can I just fish there forever? Is that an option like can I just like do that? I Don't know the mines expanding though. I think I need iron a lot more than I need stone So go work on the iron mine real fast like I want yeah working in an iron mine There you go go work on the iron mine like I think we need iron more than anything else given our current like situation uh, we're also, like, a little bit low on wood. I don't relish the thought of sending people, like, way the hell out here after I get done hanky-waving over here just to go get, like, some trees or whatever. But, I mean, I'll, I will if I have to. I don't know. Like, that's kind of outside my, my demesne. My demunia! Like, it, it's like, it's outside. How do you say that word? Is it just demesne? I always figured it's just, like, demesne, right? I don't know. That sounds right. I don't want, like, you guys, what are you, an archer? All right, archer, you sit up on the hill right there. And then I want, like, I don't know if this is going to work, but logically, like, the logic is sound for what I'm doing right now. Like, tactically, this makes sense, but I can't guarantee that it's going to work inside the confines of the game. I don't know. He's a decent farmer. I'm going to put him on it. Uh, as we start to accumulate a few more people that are going to be a part of our little squad, he has awesome gold mining skills. Well, so does that guy, though. All right, well, you go be a farmer, then. Like, I need you to I need you to farm it on up. You work on that. And you go down here. Yeah, you go, you go be like a food farmer real fast. And then you go work on gold because you're good at it. And then this person is 40% faster. Well, be 40% faster over to the fields because that's where I need you right now. That's, I need you to be 40% faster inside my fields at the moment, and there goes the food. Now the food is starting to arise ever so slightly. Arise, chicken. Arise. So my army is over here. It was okay. I think we'll do better if we have, like, one or two more archers before we go into the next night. I think that archers are going to be, like, the biggest part of our survival right now. Because, like, these guys are great for whittling away at, like, the crappy zombies that are just, like, in the way or whatever. But archers, they shoot at the enemy before they even get to us. Which means with the explodey guys, we maybe have an increased chance of blowing them up in the middle of their own units before they even get to us. And so I think that sounds like a really rad idea right there. I'd also like to put a guard tower, like, right on that spot. That'd be super sweet. It takes 100 gold to take the village up to level 2. God, man, we're gonna need some money to get this done. A new villager's arrival? What kind of villager are they? A qualified gold miner. Like, what, did he go to, like, gold mining college or something? He's got his post-doctorate in gold mining? Alright, well, maybe... I don't want to expand the mines out too far. Like, go downwards right here. Like, go downwards a little bit deeper. And let's just keep it, like, this width right here. And then we'll just kind of, like, go down and see what happens. We gotta survive for 13 days. We're on day two right now. Day one was a little bit rough. There was... There was a learning curve on day one. I, I think, I suspect that I'd be very much telling falsehoods if, you know, a decent woman with no perks. Well, when she finishes right here, I'm going to turn her into an archer, and then we'll bring her over to this side. It's important to note that the soldiers, they eat a lot more food than everybody else does, so I think they eat double portions. And so I don't know if they eat double, double portions like Wendy's style. Once they, once they, if they eat double portions already, do they eat double the double? Quite the fighter. 50% more damage. Well, never mind. You'll be an archer then. Congratulations on your newly appointed charge as a defender of the village. I want to have at least like three or four more guys by the end of today. Like maybe four archers out here. So we'll have six in total. That way they'll be firing six arrows at a time, which is enough to one-shot two zombies at a time, I think. I think that sounds about right. I think that's going to be manageable. So 50% more damage. You come over here and get into the ranks, please. 
Yep, rank and file over here. It looks like they could fire through our own soldiers, so I'm not going to stress about it too much. Uh, continue mining over here and just seeing what you can find. We're starting to stack up and accumulate a little bit of iron, which I think is really, really good. Who are you, a new villager? Quite the fighter. Well, then go be quite the fighter. Do your thing. Achieve your dreams of being a fightery badass inside of our society. You, on the other hand, make a fallback point over here so we can make, like, a, a guard tower. Yeah, do do a guard tower right there on that little hill. That's a great place for that to be. I'll put another one right here, too, as we expand and build outwards so that people on this side have some, like, minimal amount of defense when the enemy decides to come. Uh, we've got a thick horde of zombies approaching. They can do that during the daytime? I thought that was, like, a nighttime-only thing. I guess I extrapolated wrong. Where are they at? A thick horde of zomb- I- oh yeah, there they are. Yep, that's a- that's a thick horde. You weren't lying. That is a thick horde. I agree. So well done. I thought for a second this guy had like horns or something. Like he became some kind of like tiefling or something the moment that I turned him into an archer. I'm glad to see if that's not the case because we just don't need the demonics around here, man. I don't trust them. They're up to something. Why are you making ladders all over the place? Like is that necessary? I don't know, it just looks kind of ugly. I don't like it. I'm going to upgrade that right now so we can get tier 2 training, I guess. Was that archer all, like, finished off? Man, this horde's going to suck. I'm not looking forward to dealing with this. A decent woman. Well, decently go help yourself to farming some corn. How about that? Those don't grow any longer. We've only got like a limited supply of wood left, so hopefully we get somebody along that becomes like a decent wood farmer. I'm a little bit worried the enemy's gonna like spawn out of there and like frontline us hella hard, but you just keep mining that out for future resources. So if I find that I'm like low on anything, I can just condemn more villagers down here to the mines to like sit around doing nothing with the rest of their lives. Who is this person? A qualified iron miner. Okay. That sounds decently tolerable. And you said that holds four people? How much HP does it have? It has 150. It's not too badly off then. Are they going to arrive anytime soon? Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god, there's so many! That's a lot of, that's a lot of zombies. I feel apprehensive about my survival right now. We'll maybe like put them inside of there and then we'll have these guys hold the hill right here. Sounds like a decent plan. That way if things start to get out of control they can fall back behind this and the building can take the damage instead. Sounds like an okay plan. I assume that they can probably like shoot farther when they're inside of the tower too. I don't know how much further they can fire but if they could fire out to like right there that'd be super crazy awesome. And I would endorse that wholeheartedly. Why are you gathering mushrooms right now? This gal can mine anything with ease. Well then, go do it. I'd mine anything just to mine you in my mine. So we got a qualified iron miner over here. Go work on iron then. So like, go down to this level and work on iron. You're a gold miner, but that's not like very helpful right now. Yeah, go work on iron, since that's how we get more soldiers. And then unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to condemn you to just being over here doing residential development. So have fun. I mean, it's a little bit soul-sucking, but I'm sure it'll be alright. Have they even made it down the hill yet? Ugh, gross. I'd like it if on the map they were like little red dots or something. That would probably be helpful. Probably make things a little bit better. We're almost at pop cap right now, so I need to like get busy building a house real fast. Gotta get that done. And we've got like a big old rock node right there, unfortunately. A node of the rock. As soon as we get done with these zombies over here, I think I'm going to send a whole bunch of wood choppers over that way. Start getting some treebies done. Farmer, hammer skills. Decent. I should probably have these people doing like the thing that they do that is their trade skill. But frankly, eh, kind of lazy. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, get that house done real fast. So that'll bring the pop cap up to 33. I'm glad to see there's not any slowdown or anything like that once you have a whole bunch of workers too. Like a lot of games you'll get like very real frame lag 
once you start having more workers. And I'm really glad that that's not happening right now. I did want to pay attention to this over here and just kind of like see what happens. Like, I want to see how far they can fire from right here, and if it's suitable. I doubt they're going to kill that many zombies before the zombies get to the spear line, but... You know, what are you going to do? Yeah, you guys move forward slightly. I'm going to keep the healer, like, in the middle of it. It's kind of a bummer right now. Any range increase that I was hoping they would get by being in the guard tower is not happening. There they go. That's alright. I mean, it's still far enough away to keep, like, the fat boys away from us, the exploders or whatever. And they did manage to kill off a pretty sizable chunk of the horde before the horde managed to get here. And I think their knockback combined with the extra damage... They are, however, very much fighting us back right now. Alright, fall back, fall back. Fight from the bottom of the tower if you can. Oh, really? They don't want to attack the tower. Interesting. It looks like they hold back the undead better when they're not on a slope. An iron deposit has been depleted. Okay. Well, then you go over here and work on a stone node. Work on something a little stony. Uh, you guys go gather me up some trees, please. Yep, trees for everybody. Go gather, go, go gather some wood. We are woefully understocked on wood right now. And it doesn't look like there's any kind of like forestry or anything that I can do either. Unfortunate. Did I lose my healer? Is that what happened? Hmm. Yeah, I think I lost my healer. Go over here, become a new healer. It, it seems like the it seems like the healers get caught up in the mix every now and again. Go chop some trees real fast. I will have you guys retreat if things start getting rowdy over here. But I just need more wood chopping. It's unfortunate. Like I'm hoping we can find some kind of wood supply below the earth. Possibly, might be a little bit helpful. I'm going to keep an eye on my food supply, too. Like, I can't guarantee... Nah, it looks like we're still okay. Like, I can't guarantee that it's going to turn out alright, but... Looks to be good for the moment. You become a healer, please. And I'll send you back on over into the shit. Have the zombies decided to come out yet? How long do I have? They're not here yet, but hour 20, I think, was the time that they started to get into it back then. There we go. Bring this healer over here. I need this healer. Bring him over to here. He will hopefully heal up Rain Frontshire, who is in rough shape. Quite a healthy gal. Okay, well, give me another archer. I like the archers. I think the archers are going to be helpful. I may put in a second tower right here. Just so the enemy, like, has to deal with me before they can get past another point. I'm kind of wondering how frequently you get those horde events. Like, I thought that they were going to be timed, but it seems to me as though they tend to happen just sort of randomly and all over the place. No more villagers. We still haven't stocked up enough gold. The tomb is growing restless. Unfortunate, but that's only like a couple of zombies. So I am of the opinion that it should be alright with them right where they are. Like they're filing out wide enough away from each other to where I think we should be able to get something done here. Like it's just when they're stacked up like that last horde was. When they're like right on top of each other. That's when it gets hard to deal with. But when they're spread out a little bit like this, I don't feel that bad about it. So there's a new enemy type. Your codex has been updated. What's the new enemy type? It's 
strong and mighty sewn together from strong flesh bits. Alright, you guys start heading back over here. Just to protect yourselves a little bit. I'll decide what to do with you guys in a little while. Just hang out at the central village area until we figure out this whole invasion situation. It doesn't look that terrible. That's going to be a little bit worse, I think. But this first wave, I think, should go down quickly. I think. Uh, you go train real fast. Deadly and frail, you'll be an archer. There you go. Kill them on the slopes if you can. Hopefully these dudes will be entirely dealt with by the time the fat guy gets here. So that the arrows don't get soaked up by less important zombies. You become an archer, please. I don't honestly know what those guys were doing up there. Nice, dude. If you can get those exploders when they're already in a group, yeah, buddy. That's how you get some damage off right there because he blows up all the other zombies, too. All right, so the big guy with the muscles is coming in. Archer, I get the feeling I'm going to need you over here. The exploders are actually becoming a liability to them now, which is really, really good to see. That's helpful. Big guy's been filled with arrows already. Okay, I think we just needed more archers. I think archers are the secret right now. Like this guy I think is gonna get through, we're just not dealing enough damage. I don't know exactly how many more archers I'm gonna need, but we'll give it a go. Oh, actually we got that guy, nice. He actually didn't make it, good. Sounds great. Alright, you guys start coming back over here. We're almost done with the horde. Well, never mind. I, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot done today. I was hoping I might be able to sneak some of my villagers in and make something happen, but... Doesn't look like it's going to occur like that. I would like to move them all forward. That'd be great. How bad is the invasion right now? Eh. It's pretty constant. I don't know if I can attack these things and wipe them out. It seems like that'd be a good idea, right? Especially these ones that are in close proximity to where I live and like where I rest at. Might not be the worst plan. I don't know if I should bring the archers out of the tower and move them forward a little bit so that we can chop wood all night. It seems like they miss a lot when they're on the ground and they don't have a height advantage. So that's kind of like what I'm looking at right now. By the end of the night, we should have enough gold to upgrade to Village 2, I think. Oh, there's also shield zombies now. Gross. Oh, uh, yeah, there he is right there. I see him. He's all phalanxed up. Yeah, that could be problematic. I wonder if he just soaks a whole bunch of damage before he goes down. Like he just provides like a shield wall or something. What are you? Nothing special about this one. Give me another archer. I think we've got a better handle on tonight than we had last night, though. Like a much better handle on tonight. Yep, you're an archer, please. If nothing else, the night will be over soon. What I am worried about is this shield guy that's in front of this bloat. I'm a little bit worried about that. Seems like it might lead to kind of a tactically sketchy situation. But hopefully when this guy blows up, he'll take him with him. And if it goes down like that, I think it'll be okay. Oh, really? I've reached the maximum amount of houses that I can have for right now. Maybe at this village? A stone terrace. Build vertically and expand towards the skies. Double-click on the building to create a stairway. Okay... I'll think about it. If that gets overrun right there, we've got problems. Ooh, 
Oof. Yeah, those shield guys are an issue. They're like a big time issue. They create like a perfect stopgap for the arrows that nothing can get around. Ugh. I was hoping maybe the shields would break after a certain amount of damage or something like that. Like they would still serve their function, but like... They are basically impervious to arrows. Tough one. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to move forward. I need these trees. Let's go ahead and advance. Takes 30 wood to get the tower done. You guys come down. We can always fall back to the previous point if we have to. But yeah, get the archers in line. Good. Absolutely excellent. Is there anybody else coming? Okay. So with nobody else coming... I'm gonna move them forward to the mouth of the cave and just hope we don't get any exploders. You guys get out here and start chopping some trees. Hundred percent more damage. Well, guess what? You are gonna. Oh, good. He got rid of that stone deposit too. All right, come down here and start working on some of these deposits then. What is that? A bell tower? You can summon the trader once a day. Oh, that'd be pretty sweet. Hundred percent more damage. What a warrior indeed. On the plus side, at least food seems kind of even right now. Anybody else coming? Mortensia Dorkmoon is now... See, that's why she became a great warrior, because her last name was Dorkmoon, and all the kids in high school were like jerks about it. Oh, we can get on top of that? Oh. What? That's like a makeshift guard tower, dude. Yeah, let's take... I had no idea you could even do that. Hell yeah. All right, you guys go over there. Yup. That's what I'm talking about. Yourselves all nice and formed up. All right, so with the 30 wood that we have now, another stone deposit has gone down. I'm going to need the city to be upgraded to level 2. I need that house to be brought up to level 3. Can I build more houses now? I can, so yeah, you got to keep up with the upgrade curve right there. can be built on slopes. Yeah, that would be probably a good idea. You can also do terrace building, which is kind of an interesting idea. We can get musketeers, grenadiers, and extract sulfur from potions. Really? Intradasting. I feel ways about that. I wonder if the enemy can actually, like, spawn inside of here, though. I'm a little bit worried about that. That might be a thing that actually, like, happens. You guys keep mining, I guess. Yep, just keep digging holes down here in the damp deep. Well, don't dig from that way. Dig from the side. Yeah, like, go down. And, like, don't drop another ladder. Like, I don't care about more ladders being dropped. Who is this guy? Who are you? Who art thou? Eats twice as much food, but has more armor. Okay. Okay. I'm going to build another house over here. A tomb was discovered. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you guys go back up to the top layer. Let's send some soldiers down there to deal with it. You guys kind of just go stand off to the side for a minute. I hope those trees last a long time because, man, we are really, really low on wood right now. Giggity, giggity, goo. Our wood just will not rise. Uh, my name is Splattercat. We're out of time for right now. This game is called Grim Nights, and I'm actually enjoying it tremendously. I like this game a lot. You should definitely go check it out. It's $2. It's legit $2 for this game, and I guarantee you'll kill at least four or five hours on it. 
So anyways, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. It helps out more than you know. It helps me continue to create content every single day, and it helps me continue to, like, look around and find all the indie games that you might have missed. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by. Hi, do. Take care, and don't forget to support the developers by buying the game down below. Farewell, everybody.